Howdy folks. So I'm very sorry for the long delay between videos. Uh, the new camera came in and it sucked. Uh, it was really bad. It basically assumed that there was like full sunlight, tons of light. And even then it was kind of lousy, I guess. I, I wasn't really impressed and I was kind of frustrated. It was really aggravating because I'd spent a lot of time and money on figuring that out. And it just didn't didn't work out at all and unless I spend the money on a much nicer camera this is as good as it gets um, really I need better lighting uh, lighting would matter more than uh, the camera itself I think but again I'm doing this in a you know, home office that is not primarily set up for YouTube videos so we kind of got what we got uh, until things are further along and we'll see if it's ever worthwhile. I, this is not a channel that is certainly blowing up in you know Roman Atwood size here. <laughs> so the topic for today really is sticking with it uh, because along with getting frustrated with the, the video thing, I have been really busy with other projects. I've been uh, doing amateur radio stuff. I've been doing shooting stuff. Uh, a lot of other projects. Work has been really busy. And I just, I was playing, but not a lot. And I wasn't really progressing. And I, I was, of course, you know, I started on YouTube. The cat comes over here and has to cause trouble. So I'm trying to get back to it. And the cat is over here causing all sorts of trouble. <laughs> she hears me talking. So she's got to come, come see what's up. So I've got to get back into it. I've got to get back into the flow and not just sit there and me mess around with the same stuff. And really, that's, that's how you have to do it. You have to stick at it. Even if it's only <clears throat> a little here or there, you can't just stop playing. Uh, it'll really be a problem. It'll, it'll push you back in terms of your progress. Now, if you're a great player, if you are a very experienced player, and you take a month off, eh, I mean, okay, you might lose a little bit of the calluses on your fingers, you might, you know, not be right on the ball, but it's not gonna be, you're not gonna go back to being a newbie. If you're like me and you're still learning the basics, you're still learning to play, it, it's a big hit. Like, I went to play some songs that I knew. I, I just could not, I couldn't keep my hands in rhythm. Uh, they were not cooperating. I do something with my left hand, the right hand wasn't in time, uh, or vice versa. Or I'm doing, <laughs> doing hammer-ons and pull-offs with my left hand when I'm not supposed to be. Just you know, not getting the releases right, not getting the timing down. It is what it is. And it, to me, it's you've got to keep at it. You've got to be consistent at least five, ten minutes a day makes a big difference. And I knew that. <clears throat> and I just got busy. I got, I got other things going on. There was a good two weeks where the amplifiers weren't even hooked up. Uh, I was rearranging things on the desk and I've actually moved <clears throat> my amp, my main amp that I use, behind where the camera is. And it is now sitting on top of the speaker. That freed up my desk which that was, it was getting in the way and having it on the desk in my way. <clears throat> but I didn't have a long enough power cord and it just, you know, things get away from me. And two weeks later, finally got a power cord that, that reached. So where does that leave us? Uh, I think that if you're like me and you're still learning to play, you're still, you've kind of got the bare bones basics down and you're, you're learning to actually play things. You gotta stick with the plan. Uh, whether it's Justin Guitar, whether it's Fender Play, uh, something. And in my case, I, I do both. Uh, I'm going back and forth. I'm really liking Fender Play because they seem to have accepted the fact that people have a limited time. For a working adult, a few minutes here, a few minutes there, they've broken it down into little bites. And it, it really makes it easy to pick up the cup pick up the guitar, do two or three lessons. You're good. You, you, that was your guitar for the evening. If you have no more time than that, 
you still learn something new <clears throat> or you practiced something you did was, you know, you did it last week, but you didn't, didn't do the next lesson that puts it into practice. <clears throat> and I, I was not terribly impressed. Oh, my beard's getting away from me here. All right. Uh, I just took a shower and the beard is still drying out. Wow, it really is being obnoxious. Well, then. <laughs> wow. So, I really like the Fender Play. I will say that it starts slow. I My first few lessons with that, I was like, really? what What is this shit? Was not happy with it. Was not impressed. Going back, uh, you know, I went back uh, like a m two months afterward. And... I could actually play a bit better. I, I had the fundamentals down of how to, how to make my fingers do what I wanted to do. And it was much better. Uh, I'm, I'm pointing to this like it's on the screen. It, it's on another window. <laughs> uh, I forgot that I switched screens and I'm looking at a, at a Blues Boy ASAP. Uh, I'm still looking for a telly. I, I haven't actually bought anything yet. Never got the, the kit from Toman. Never got the... Uh, the Harley Benton from Toman. It's probably going to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. Um, like I said, busy, other expenses. It is what it is. Uh, spent way too much money the last couple of months on other projects. But man, the thing is sexy. Uh, it's a thousand dollars for a 2003 ASAT, and mm, tempting, tempting, very tempting. But no, uh, going to be good. Had to cut the. Cut myself off, no more guitar expenses uh, for a little while. No more expenses for a little while, no more toys. But I think Fender Play, going back to that, I think Fender Play does a really good job giving you five or 10 minute bites where you do the lesson and you're playing along with them. And you, you back it up, you play it again. You back it up, you play it again. And then you just sit there and play it a few more times. And you go back to a section of the lesson and you look at it and you watch their fingers and you, okay. A lot of the other lessons, they're, they're longer, they're bigger bites. <clears throat> and that's great if you've got more time. If you're, it's the weekend, you're gonna spend an hour on this. You're, you're really going to make a, a big, big step. Fender Play is great when you only have a few minutes. You just want to get something done. So check it out. Uh, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I don't have a referral code. This is just, I had to get a video out. I hadn't done it in so long. I was like, I got to do this. It's been bugging me that I hadn't done it. And that was kind of my my way back in. Uh, I definitely need to get my fingers back in groove. And Fender Play was the answer, was the, the system that's gonna work for me. I'm sure I'll go back and I'll do more of the Justin guitar. I'm sure I'll go back and, and do some of the other stuff. But the Fender Play really gives me bite-sized pieces that keep me motivated, keep me feeling like I'm learning things new and I've got it. That, that little segment, you know, 15, 20 notes, I got it, and I move on, I build on that. Check it out, uh, they, they routinely do free, they routinely do discounted. Um, that was one of the things that got me back was they were like half price. So sorry about that, I got a phone call right at the end there, I was finishing up the video and it cuts it off. So anyway, like I was saying, check it out, Fender Play. I've been happy with it, uh, I've really, I wasn't happy for the first few lessons. I kind of couldn't get into the groove. And then it, it grew on me. It definitely grew on me. So check it out. Have fun. Keep playing. And talk to you later, guys.